UK trade with the EU has been knocked by Brexit, with businesses facing higher costs, more paperwork and border delays. That's according to the Cross-Party Public Accounts Committee of MPs. The committee suggests in a new report out today that, quote, only the only detectable impact of Brexit has so far been to increase the burdens on business, with small businesses being hit the hardest. Well, we're joined by our northwest of England reporter Bradley Harris. He's at the design element Flowers, a company which relies heavily on imported goods, of course. Brad, good to see you on the show as ever. So how much impact has Brexit had on the firm where you are? Yeah, thanks, Liam. Always good to be on the show. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it, this impact that we're seeing on UK and EU trade, increased costs, more paperwork and delays. Let's bring it down to a local level, though. I've come to Salford to design Element Flowers, and I'm joined uh, by Anthony Williams. Uh, Anthony, this is a real big deal for you, isn't it? Because increased costs, delays at the border, bringing goods in. This business relies heavily on flowers all over the world. This bouquet, actually, of flowers has come from everywhere across the globe. Yeah, it's a, a mix of uh, varieties, a mix of productions. So they've come from, literally, as you said, all mm. over the world to get here. So what's the impact on you and your business, then? Um, the initial Brexit thing was with the, all the new paperwork. So most of the wholesalers stuck about a 10% surcharge on, which they needed to do. You know, we, it's, and you can't absorb all of that. So you've got to pass something on. Um, but then also we started with Brexit and then COVID hit. So the growers, the production people, they hadn't got the staff to actually cut or pack. And then there was less planes in the air. So the freight costs went up because they weren't just putting extra boxes on passenger planes. So everything just kept mounting and mounting and mounting. And now with fuel costs, a lot of the growers can't afford to heat. So they're doing everything on cold, which puts growing season or growing time back about six weeks. Mm. So again, more cost. And that's a good point you make about the pandemic, not just Brexit, but also the pandemic has had a yeah, burden as well. But almost a perfect storm. Exactly. Let's talk about this bouquet a bit more, though, because, of course, you can normally buy flowers uh, from all over the world and get them within 24 hours. That was one of the key selling points of this business and many florists across the country. But with the implications of Brexit and the pandemic, as you say, mm -hmm. that's not the case now, is it? No, I d the, obviously, it's a fresh product, so time is of the essence. And it was always we could do order online, get it the next morning, no problem whatsoever. Now we've got a slight problem that it's we order and it can be 24 to 36 hour delay before they start coming through to us. So you've got to really plan ahead. So those days of somebody coming in and wanting a specialist rose or a specialist colour, and you go, oh, I'll get it for you tomorrow, no problem. It's two days away and you've got valentine's day a huge day coming up on monday a big day for you i'm yep. probably too late to get my roses then i just, you know we're, we're the fourth emergency service florist we will get you out of trouble no matter what <laughs> good to chat to you so Liam, there you go even with the delays and with brexit and the pandemic having an impact i could still get my roses in time for valentine's day